I'm Craig Brand from Warsaw, Virginia. Uh, raised a little over 800 acres of corn, wheat, and soybeans in the Northern Neck Peninsula of Virginia. Um, I bought this planter used. It's a 2001 John Deere 1770. Uh, it had no-till row-mounted coulters on there. Uh, the planter originally came with hydraulic drives on there. I've, I've left the John Deere hydraulic drives on there. I'm controlling the hydraulic drives um, with the precision row flow controller that I use for the air seeder. Um, so kind of spreading the cost out having run the row flow on, on both machines. Uh, I did install uh, true count air clutches on there for the row shutoffs on the planter. Um, two years ago we added the Yetter row cleaners. Um, added Yetter row cleaners and I put uh, precision clean sweep cylinders on there to help lift the uh, row cleaners up. And a uh, year before last, I installed the Precision Delta Force on here, uh, the Delta Force down system. That's been probably one of the best improvements that I've made on the planter with the continuous no-till systems. I may be running in a tram line or one of the rows or two of the rows, the corn rows may be running in a tram line or in a compacted area around the edge of the field. And uh, with the individual row control of the Delta Force, it really helps with seed placement. I mean, you can go out and dig and everyone is right there at the correct depth all the time. It's a, it actually mounts with the limitations, the frame limitations on this planter uh, and, and having already having a uh, starter fertilizer system on there. Uh, Two years ago, I bought a Surefire pop-up system. I mounted the tank on the front of the tractor. Um, then I run the hoses to the back in order to uh, apply not only a pop-up fertilizer, but also I run insecticide through there. Depending on the growing season, but majority of the time, we always have white grubs as an, are an issue, and I, I run a bifenthrin in the road to help reduce the uh, white grub pressure.